Thanks for joining me. This is Danny, and welcome back to Real Tech Season 3, Episode Number 4, in which we are going to take to the skies with Simple Planes. So let's get started. Simple Planes is a mod that has airplanes that are simple. It has a couple of airplanes, a small plane, a large plane, and a helicopter. And they're actually fairly easy to fly, and they're normally fairly easy to craft as well. However, in real tech, there is some infrastructure that we have to use or some integration with other mods, and there is a process that we're going to have to go through before we can make our first plane, and that is all explained in this quest tree. Now, if you are interested in simple planes, but you are not interested in real tech and you don't care about real tech, well, you make me sad, but I understand. And therefore, I do have some timestamps in the description. So if you want to skip directly to the simple planes part of the video, you can definitely do that. Otherwise, if you want to witness the real tech experience, then stick with me. So in order to make the planes, we need a plane workshop. That's basically like the crafting table for making airplanes. In this pack, in order to make that crafting table, we need to get into immersive engineering and create. If we look at the recipe in JEI, we can see that we need to do a mechanical crafting recipe. One of these things is a metal bar, which is from actually engineer's decor. The metal bar in this pack requires the metal press from immersive engineering. So we're going to need a metal press from Immersive Engineering. We're going to need RF to power it, of course, which we already have. And we're going to need the Create Mechanical Crafting Crafters, which we also already have. But from where we are now, uh, we have several steps to follow before we can get there. We spawn with this Akashic Tome, which has the books for all the different mods that have books. If we right-click on it, we can find the Guide to Planes. We right click on that and we quit. We complete a quest just like that. Quest completed, the guide to planes. And this of course is the guide to planes. It's a pretty good read. It actually has really everything you need to know about this mod. It's very well documented. Again, it's a fairly simple mod. The planes are fairly simple and this has everything that you need to know. Um, the quest tree does pretty much have everything you need to know as well. But if there's anything here that doesn't give you enough information, you want to dig a little deeper, you can take a look at that. So now in order to make our press, in order to make some of the parts that we need for the workbench, and also these propellers that we're going to need for the plane, we are going to need these blocks. Now, of course, we can look in the immersive engineering manual at the press to get all of the things that we need and to learn more about the metal press. Um, However, this quest kind of makes it easy for us because we can just look in here and see all the ingredients that we need. So we are going to need a fair amount of steel. I think something like 24 or so, maybe 30, somewhere in that uh, order. Heavy engineering blocks, a couple of steel scaffolding. We actually already have a couple of those in here from last time. We need a redstone engineering block. And look at this, I'm completing quests. Quest complete. Hooray, everything's complete. And oh, by the way, if we look at this quest, you will need to construct a metal press, blah, blah, blah. Oh, somehow it looks like you can recover three ingots of that steel. <laughs> nice. But I'm going to take those three, those three steel ingots back. And we're going to set up this metal press. I'm using the projector from Immersive Petroleum. That's how we do that. Oh, wait. I have to click the metal press. Confirm. All right, there we go. Oh, shift right click to change it to projection mode. It was on selection mode. And then it starts projecting. So there's our steel scaffolding. It highlights them for us. And that looks like a redstone engineering block. And then we've got our two conveyor belts. There and there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the heavy engineering block there. And then I'm going to do that. Ta-da! We got the green thing telling us that we're good. And now we can hit this. Actually, let's turn the projector off, get it out of our hotbar. And then take our engineer's hammer and click that. Hooray! Pressing matters. Okay, I got it powered. So now we have to make a mold that we're going to put in our metal press that's going to allow us to press the things that we need. We need this engineer's blueprint for molds and it's made like so. And then we need three steel plates and a wire cutter. And then we can choose what mold we want to make. Right now we are making the metal press mold rod. 
Metal Press World Ride, yay. Okay, so we quest completed that quest. Then we right click in there and it puts the mold there for us. We can actually shift right click to remove it and then just right click to put it back. We are gonna have to use a different mold for another thing. I'm gonna actually make these out of lead. Now the way that we make this metal bar, we can take any sheet of any type of metal. I'm using lead because I have a lot of it and I don't need a lot of it. So we can just take this lead plate, throw it on the conveyor belt over here, does that, and it comes out the other side as a metal bar. Hooray! And we're gonna need three of these for this crafting recipe. Now, of course, we can set up automation for all this. We don't, I, I'm not going to because I only need a few of these. So we have to set up a three by three of these. If you weren't here last time when we did this, basically we have to set it up so that these things are all pointing toward, toward a single point. So we should be able to just kind of stack these and that should happen kind of automatically. Yeah, so they're all pointing down and then in toward the center. The crafting recipe is this. Five of those, a crafting table in the middle, and then our three metal bars that we just made. Yay. So our crafting ingredients are going to converge there. Yay. Ta-da! Pop! Okay, all right, I'm gonna break these down. All right, we have the plane workbench. Hooray! We're almost there. This is the crafting station for making planes. It needs to be constructed using Creates Mechanical Crafters, which we just saw. Once you have the plane workbench, we can start making the parts we'll need to make the plane. So I'm just gonna set this there <laughs> for now. And if we look in there, we can see that this takes some ingredients. And basically what it takes is a propeller and then some wood or something, and then we can um, select the plane that we want over here. Now, in order to make the propeller, we're going to have to use this guy again. I'm gonna take that out. Uh, is there like a place we can store this? Can we put it back in there? No. <laughs> I'm gonna need a storage for that. Oh, I know, I'll put it in there. But we are going to need to make this unpacking. By the way, I'm crafting with this engineer's hammer. I have another engineer's hammer that I'm using in world for things that I needed the hammer for. It is in a morph tool, which also has my other wrenches. So they automatically get selected. Don't use this one for crafting if, if, if it's inside of a morph tool, because if your tool inside the morph tool breaks, it'll break the entire morphing tool and all of its tools. So just kind of an FYI there. All right, so we go in here, we throw that in there, and then we select that one, put it on there, and then we just take some sheet metal which I have way up here. And actually I'm gonna grab two of these. Iron sheet metal quest completed. And we throw them on here. Oh, I already had sheet metal. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I love that, that's so fun to watch. All right, now we can throw those propellers there and then we just need to throw some wood. I don't even have any wood on me. I don't really, okay. We're almost there, guys. Um, however, before we make the plane, there are some other things that we need to do in the quest. So, because it's gonna tell us, just to be clear, this is a propeller from Simple Planes Not Create. There are two propellers in this pack. Create, create also has a propeller. This propeller is not the one we want. It's not going to work. We have to make the simple planes one. Along with a few wood planks, you now have everything you need to make a plane. But you'll probably want a way to power the plane first. Choose either a furnace engine or an electric engine. So if we want to follow the quest tree, the plane is later. First, we have to make an engine. Now, there's two ways we can power our plane with a furnace engine or an electric engine. I am going to choose a furnace engine for now. I would eventually like to use the electric engine, which allows us to use RF. The furnace engine, of course, allows us to use coal, which we have in limited supply. RF we have in kind of unlimited, but slow uh, trickling supply. Uh, but it needs a lot of redstone. I am out of redstone. That is one reason. That is one of the reasons that I want a plane, <laughs> because I need to fly far away to get redstone. So 
We are going to start with the furnace engine today. There's our furnace engine. Um, we did need one of those propellers for the furnace engine. That's why I made two. Furnace engine quest complete. All right, let's take a look at the tree then. So we made our furnace engine. We can now make a plane. Oh, by the way, if you happen to notice that I have effects, I have speed, strength, and haste. That is because my nu nutrients are all balanced. I actually balanced my nutrients, um, or it happened, like I've been kind of slowly as I eat, trying to eat the right foods. And s since the last episode, before I started recording today, I was balanced again. I fell out of balance for a little while, and now, I want, now I'm back in. We are ready to make our first airplane. We have the plane workbench, which, of course, in this pack was kind of difficult to make, but normally it's pretty easy. And all we need are propellers, or a propeller, and wood planks. For five wood planks... What? Okay, this is broke. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right now we're just going to make a regular plane. This is the spruce plane. And that... Oh my gosh, this is bugged out. Oh, there we go. It took all eight of my planks and it gave me three back. Okay, so we got ourselves a plane. Hooray, a spruce plane. This is the smaller plane. There's also a large plane, which allows two passengers. The one that we have only allows one passenger. It also allows you to hold and drop TNT, as does the helicopter. And I believe the helicopter is also um, two passenger. Um, but for now, we're going to take a look at the small plane. It uses less fuel, which is kind of a big deal for me right now because I don't have a lot of fuel. I do need some slime balls because I want to make the floaty bedding which is going to allow our plane to float and land on water. So I'm going to set this in the world. Normally you would want to build like a runway for the plane because it does take a little bit of space to take off and to land. It can be a little tricky to land in an area that is not uh, like flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the plane, place the plane here by the water. Now normally you do not want your plane to fall in water but if we right click it with this floaty bedding, it will then float on water and it'll allow us to take off in the water. So we can basically use this river as our runway. And then our furnace engine, we also take that and we right click in order to put that in there. And if we look in the book, we will see there are a lot of other things we can add as well. These are also in the quests. Upgrades, we have the floaty bedding. We have rocket boosters and we have a shooter. Um, we'll check all these out today at some point, but first let's just take our first maiden voyage. If I go in my plane and then actually let's check our keyboard shortcuts and we will see to open a plane engine screen, we press X and then the boost key is space. So we press X and this is where we put our fuel for the furnace engine. I'm going to go into third person mode because that's just better for this. And then I'm going to go here. And then what you want to do when you take off is you want to press W and then space. So W is the lift key that causes the plane to lift and then space boosts it. Oh, do we have enough room here? Okay. But you don't want to hold W while you're flying because that causes you to go more vertical. So I'm pressing W now. We're going up. And then when I let go of W, we kind of flatten out so while we're flying we're going to want to kind of tap W just to kind of keep the plane level or if we want to go higher and then of course A and W to go left and right the same with everything else and then the S key makes us go down oh an enderman <laughs> And that's it. And then if we press space, we get a boost, but it uses a lot of fuel. Landing the plane can be a little tricky. You have to be careful to do kind of a soft landing in order to avoid damaging the plane. You can see those little airplanes in the lower right. Those are showing the health of the plane. And the plane can get damaged if you hit something too hard or too fast. So usually what I want to do is find an area that's kind of flat. Oh, and as you turn also, the plane will tend to dive. So you're going to want to press W and turn at the same time if you want to keep your plane level. Um, but it's looking like we can land, I don't know, I want to kind of land. Actually, I want to land by that. By that temple over there because I have a mine there. That was one of the reasons I made the plane. Whoa. 
Okay. <laughs> so, it wasn't the smoothest landing ever, but it was smooth enough that it didn't cause any damage to the plane. Now, if you do damage the plane, sitting in the plane like this while it's not running, will the, the plane will heal itself. You can also use this quick fix kit. You can right click that if you want the plane to heal really quickly. So I am actually going to go do some mining off camera for a bit. And then we are going to fly back home and check out some of the other upgrades. Oh my God. I didn't even notice this. When you're in first person in the plane, <laughs> your point of view is angled with the plane. Crazy. <laughs> While I'm here, I'm definitely taking this because <laughs> we'll play with that later. This is my mine. It's at the bottom of a tomb. <laughs> All right. That was fast. I got about a stack and a half. And some lapis too. <laughs> and some uranium. And a bunch of cobblestone. Uh, and I only encountered one? One skeleton? So that worked out nicely. So by the way, if your plane breaks, if the damage goes all the way down, the plane will drop. And in my experience, you can just pick it up again and it'll be fully repaired. And sometimes you can hurt yourself too if you crash the plane. Not as much as you might expect. <laughs> surviving a plane crash <laughs> but but there is some pain involved oh my gosh it is so nice to be able to see overhead these lands that i have been crawling across <laughs> all right this should work i'm pressing all right, i pressed a little w there to lift a bit and then i might just actually park the plane right there i found a terrible fortress because I need, bla I need blaze rods. And this is the first time I am finding a fortress. Unfortunately, oh, there's a blaze. Unfortunately, I don't have a bow or a shield, but I did bring some healing stuff. Scary noise. Whoa! Oh my god, damn it! <laughs> uh. Oh, I lost a lot of freaking hearts there. I wasn't paying attention. I heard some scary noise over here. I'm still hearing it. <laughs> oh, that's just the sound. Is that just like ambient sounds? Oh, that's terrifying. Oh my god, I finally got one. Ugh. I haven't found a blaze spawner. So I'm just kind of looking around for blazes. Why did I bring all this stuff? <laughs> Into fire. Hooray. Okay, I got my four blaze rods. <laughs> I got my four blaze rods. I'm ready to get out of here. I only have a little bit of first aid left. I used my whole other bandage. <sighs> got withered once. I got burned a few times, and uh, I need to go that way. <laughs> this blaze is in my way. I don't know if there's a way around. Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh, crap. Mm. They're just everywhere all of a sudden. I. It's weird, because, like... When I first got here, I was struggling to find them. <laughs> now, like, I can't get away from them. Uh, okay. No! Okay. <sighs> Alright, this is... This is the way out. think. Ooh, six blaze rods now. Nice. This is the way out. All right. Um, unfortunately, I'm in a basalt delta, so the danger does not end when I leave. <laughs> Although I'm on the edge of a basalt delta, so this is, yeah, never mind. Ow. Okay. <laughs> I'm my own worst enemy. Yay. Electric engine. Quest complete. Electric engine. And I need obsidian and a weighted pressure plate. I don't have obsidian. Uh oh. 
Uh-oh. Let's hope there's some obsidian right there. Nope. There? No. And the charging station. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> Quest tree is complete. Nice. Oh, I got another big chapter completed thingy. Okay, so I'm going to put this in my morph tool. Oops. We are almost done, I swear. <laughs> now, if we hover over the plane, it should sw it doesn't switch. Why is it not switching? Whatever. Okay. Uh, oh, look at that. So then we get a little GUI on the left here. Furnace. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So then we take that engine. We put it in there. Okay. So I broke the plane to pick it up. Um, we need to put it on top of that. I'm actually... So that is the charger. It is hooked up to RF. So it is full of RF right now. And if we set the plane on top of it, it should charge. If we go in there and look, we look... Oh. Okay, so it should be charging right now. If we press X, yes, it is charging. Hooray! I don't know how long this thing will last, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure I'm carrying my wrench and my furnace engine with me when I'm out and about, just in case I happen to lose or happen to run out of power, I can always swap them out and then use coal to get back home. But I'm pretty sure that this is going to last a really long time. Well, it stopped charging at this point, but it was charging from the negative numbers. So hopefully that's just a visual calculation and things will work, maybe? Yay. Oh, look at how beautiful our little village is. It's so quaint down there in the woods. Okay, so we're in the negatives now, so I guess that is just visual. Now, if these things do run out of fuel, they still glide, but you won't get any propulsion, so you can just kind of glide back down to the ground. All right, let's go all the way here. Large plane with floaty bedding, rocket boosters. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Stop moving. Uh, electric engine and dispensers. And sure, let's do some TNT too, why not? So now we gotta wait for this guy to charge. All right, we're fully charged and ready to go. I'm gonna stay in first person for a little while here just because it's kind of interesting. The not so interesting thing about it is that your visibility is very limited. <laughs> nice. Whoa. Oh no, oh no. Ooh, that was close. Because I have dispensers installed, I can shoot, um, but I don't have any arrows. So if I had arrows, I could shoot. Oh, there's an eagle. We're flying above the eagle. Look at that. Yay. <laughs> so we could we can shoot rapid fire with arrows or fireworks you're gonna end up using a lot of freaking arrows so you're gonna want to have like stacks of them and it's kind of hard to shoot them accurately but you can like really rapid fire them right click the split and steal and the TNT will drop oh it landed in the water <laughs> but then we can just right click again with another TNT and it will install itself so here let's do this one up here And of course, it just blows up like regular TNT. Oh, I killed a bee. Oh my god. <laughs> I couldn't do that again if I tried. As far as new maneuverability goes, the large plane is pretty similar to the small plane. I also found that crashing the plane, you don't lose anything. It's totally... <laughs> it really doesn't hurt anything to crash the planes. Except for yourself. You can take damage when you crash. So let's see, let's just kind of do a... Oh, see, now I took a lot of damage. You can see the plane is down to one thing. Now if I were to do any more damage to the plane, it would just drop, just like a boat. So it's not really a big deal. And we can just do the same thing we can do with a boat too and just pick it up. 
and it'll land on the ground <laughs> with all of its components installed. No problem there at all. But we already know that you can press space to boost. That gives you a little bit of a boost, but it uses a lot of fuel. Now if you have the gunpowder and the booster rockets, when you right click the gunpowder, <laughs> you get a big boost. And it also allows you to do different tricks. Um, but you will find that sometimes it'll damage the plane. And you have to be careful because if you break the plane while you're up here, you're going to fall. <laughs> it's going to hurt <laughs> and probably kill you. There was a huge overhaul with this mod recently. So a lot of the things that I used to know about the mod are no longer true. Like you used to be able to do barrel rolls when you would go to the side, especially if you were boosted. Um, that no longer seems to be possible. You can do loops, but they're extremely difficult and you will find that it's very easy to crash. Um, so, But I'm going to try one. Um, I might go... Alright, let's just do it here. I want to get up really high because like, the loop is, it ends up being a really, really wide loop. Now if you're not boosting and you're pressing W, I mean, it, this kind of happens. So it does end up kind of leveling out for you. Um, as long as you're not boosting. If you are boosting, then this happens. <laughs> uh oh, lagging. And then you can boost, except you come. I mean, except you come down so fast, and then you end up going backwards. So, <laughs> but it is possible. You can do different tricks, but it does take a little bit of finessing, a little bit of practice to kind of get to the point where you can do them without crashing into the ground and you can see how much elevation I lost when I did that so like if you're down here and you try to do a loop you're gonna just crash right into the ground and we'll see if we can land this way <laughs> these trees yeah that's gonna be really difficult okay so now I'm gonna pull up at the last second yeah there we go nice that totally worked <laughs> hooray what are we doing with power? Let's see. Oh my god, we ran out of power. Oh, that's why the plane stopped making noise. So now you know what happens when you run out of power. You do continue to glide, but you just no longer have propulsion. All right, let's check out the helicopter now. We do need two propellers for the helicopter and seven. Oh, oh we can also make the small plane because... Okay, so the helicopter. Very similar to the planes, but the maneuverability is different, and it also allows a second passenger just like the large plane. Um, what I'm going to do, actually, first of all, I'm just going to move this one out of the way. Um, no, 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 stop. <laughs> oh, look at the squid is driving it. Oh, no. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to place this down on there. And we're, I'm just going to grab these upgrades. Oh, man, it's using power because the squid is driving it. <laughs> so using the morphing, or using the wrench, I'm going to grab the engine, the shooter, the booster, and crap. And the floaty bedding. Oh, of course, then it's going to drop. Um, all right, that's fine. So I'm not gonna wait for this thing to charge up entirely. We press space and we go straight up. And then the controls are probably a little bit more intuitive maybe. I believe we go, no, we don't shift to go down. I don't have as much experience flying the helicopter, so. Um, but if you press W, it's going to move in the direction that you're facing. Space goes straight up, and then W goes straight forward. S goes down, okay. And then the, the A and W key, or the A and D keys just turn, turn you. They don't change the direction that it's, of its movement. <laughs> So you can maneuver around in circles while you're going in whatever direction you want, but then press W to go in the direction that you're moving. Probably going to be a little easier to land this because we can get right above the spot we want to land and then just press, press S. 
But we do have momentum to deal with, so that might make it a little trickier. All right, are we where we want to be here? Just a little bit forward. And then we can ask to go down fast. Otherwise, it'll just drift down. <laughs> Ta-da! So that is Simple Planes. Hooray! Very simple, very fun, and very useful. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, in the next episode, we're going to be doing one of two things. E either we're going to be getting into Tinker's Construct, because I definitely would like to get some better tools and weapons and gear. And, or... We're going to get into pretty pipes because I would definitely like to have a much better system for organizing my inventory. So, of course, if you haven't heard of pretty pipes, pretty pipes is more than just pipes. It is a logistics mod and it will allow us to manage our inventory in a way somewhat similar to like an AE or um, refined storage type of system. So I hope you join me for that. If you do have any questions or comments or ideas or whatever, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And of course, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to click the like button and to join me next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. -bye.